Do you want to learn how to do this? No? Well, that's too d bad because I'm about to teach you. Ho ho ho! Okay, so first you sketch out the pose. I was in the middle of drawing this. One, but I forgot to record, so I already have the head drawn. Speeding it up so you don't have to watch me sketch for like 10 minutes. Now that you have your pose, you can do the line art. Make sure to put every limb and almost every accessory on a different layer. Now we got to add the glitch effect. Here is the pen that I used for Astro and Dandy. Wow. Then you just put it where the glitch is supposed to be. I use my time traveling powers to skip to this point. Now you export every layer separately. After you're done, go to a light motion. Put them in in order. After that, put all the pivot points. Ho ho ho! Now we move on to animation. It's a little repetitive, but there's two ways. You can do it. One of them you have to watch an ad. The other it takes a little more, but it's free. The first way is to put the tween marks on both ends and make. The down pose at the end, then use this graph. After that, put the bottom yellow part at the end. It should move like this. The second way you have three keyframes. One in the middle, one in the end, and one at the beginning. I make the middle one the down pose, and the end in the beginning the regular pose. Then use this graph. Use it in between the end and the beginning and the middle. It should play exactly how the first option would. Now this part is a little complicated and hard to explain, but I'll try my best in order to parent something which will help you move things that aren't on the same layer so you don't have to group them. Let's do that you press those two boxes in the top. After that you have to start from the last moving part all the way to the beginning so for example, if you're doing the hat, I mean nightcap that I did on Astra, you'd start from the little pup ball, then to the hat, then to the head. This is that way. If you move the head, all of the other ones move along with it. If you want to do the breathing like I did, make sure you do the mouth on a separate layer. If you want something to not be affected by the rotation, go to effects and then go to parent helper. Then where it says rotation, click on lock for the mouth is basically just squash and stretch. With all of this in mind, you got the basics. I'll speed up to the effects. Once you're done, you're going to have to group everything. Press this button to group. Now go to effects and look for Block noise. Make the block super small. This is optional since you might have to watch an ad, but you can put noise too. Adjust to your liking. Let's look for pixelate when you do press on keyframe. Then press play then go crazy with the slider. It should get pixelated and then unpixelated randomly. You can adjust the finished product to your liking. Now that you have your finished product, you can export it.
If you know how to use a light motion, then you should know that you have to press save to export. Bada bing bada boom. Ho ho ho!